you for joining me in this series of Ask the Business Data Analyst, where we will explore different questions related to the work done by business data analysts. This video is brought to you by Tech Canvas, which is an IIBA and PMI authorized training partner. Tech Canvas offers project management, business analysis, analytics, and domain certification trainings. I am Priya Telam, a senior data analyst with a diversified professional experience of 10 years. I am passionate about using data to solve problems. I am a Tableau Desktop Specialist and IIBA Certified Business Data Analyst. So the question today is, how is data cleaning performed? And what are the different activities involved in it? Now, we aim to get good quality, accurate, complete, consistent, and unique data before we begin our analysis. So that is the data cleaning goal. So let us first look at an example. This is our data set and we have different columns like row ID, order ID, order and ship date, ship mode, customer ID, customer name, segment, country, city, state, postal code and region category of the product. So here our product details start, the subcategory product name, and we have four numbers for that product, which are sales, quantity, discount, and profit. So this is our uh, superstore uh, sample data set. So uh, basically here, by just taking a look, you can see that there are some different values with some spaces here. There are missing values here. So you can see some missing values here as well. So basically, our data needs to be clean and accurate in order to get correct results for our analysis. So before starting any kind of analysis, it is very important to have a clean and accurate data set. So for that, we will inspect each and every row and look at the values. If there are any null values, we'll see how to handle them. And if there are any incorrect values, we'll replace them. For that, let's add a filter here by going to this option. Now, when you click on this arrow, you can see all the possible different values in this column. So as you scroll down, you see that there are no blank values. So this column is good. Let's check order ID. And you can see all values are uniform without any blanks. So this is good. Order date also looks good with uh, all the dates displayed properly and in proper format. Here, ship date, this is a number, right? Here you can see that the uh, format is text. So basically we need to convert this from text to date format. So for that, what we are gonna do is we will go ahead and select this, uh, select the data in this entire column. Now we can do that using a shortcut of control, shift and down arrow. You can see we have selected all values in this column. Right click, format cells. Let's change from text to date. And this is the format that we want. So this is basically month, day and year. So let's go ahead and click OK. So now you can see that the dates are displayed in a proper format. Right. OK, so let's see if there are any blank values. Uh, no. So we are good, this column looks good. Let's check ship mode, this looks good as well. And customer ID looks good. Customer name has no blanks. Now segment, this segment, even if you see that the values are shown correctly, you can see that there are some blank spaces in uh, before the actual value starts. So we'll go ahead and clean this column. We'll create a new column, segment final. And here we are going to use a formula, which is a very simple formula. We are going to use trim. So basically to use any formula, you have to add an equal to sign and then the name of the formula. So here you get an option, open bracket, and you can see that you need to add text, which needs to be trimmed. So basically, Trim will remove all trailing spaces, uh, the front spaces as well as the back spaces. So the text should be from this column. So we'll select that. 
and hit enter and let's click on this plus sign at the right bottom corner of the cell and when you double click you can see that the entire column gets filled with the appropriate formula so you can see how the text is changing from h4 to h12 and you can see how the uh, trailing spaces are removed so now our segment looks good uh, let's go ahead to country country looks good we have data only for united states and the cities also look good without any blank values same as the case for state now postal code uh, we already know that uh, the text is always left aligned whereas numbers are always right aligned also you can see that postal code is displayed as text here which actually should be a number so let's go ahead uh, sh shift control and down arrow and right click format cells and this is text so let's change it to number and we don't want any decimal places so let's keep that to zero and there you go you can see that postal code has been changed to the proper format let's see if it has any blank values no blank values so we are good to go now region you can see there are some blank values here but we know uh, like for example for california we know it is in the west region so we can definitely go ahead and fill uh, these blank values right so let's go ahead and do that so here we can see different values present in that column we'll just select blanks okay now we know that california is in the west region so we can quickly just fill it we can copy that same value by dragging the a cell from the right side when you see this arrow sorry this plus sign you can just click uh, click and drag till the cell you want to fill the value um, now we know pennsylvania is in east region so we can easily quickly fill that delaware is also in east tennessee is in south so let's fill that as well Oregon is in west, New York east, Kentucky is in south. So we don't have uh, many blank values, so we can easily quickly fill it. Georgia is in south, Pennsylvania east. New York is also on the east coast and Texas is in central region. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's clear off this filter and select all values. You can see the blank values have disappeared. So there are no blank values now in the region column. That's great. Let's go to category. No blank values. We have data for uh, three categories furniture office supplies and technology so this filter is actually a, a good um, you know uh, tool to look at different values present in that column let's go ahead to subcategory okay we have many subcategories no nulls so we are good to go product name uh, there are no null values okay sales let's check oh for sales we see there are some blank values so ideally uh, let's go ahead and select only the blank values for sales now we can't fill these values uh, we, we don't know the sales for these products right uh, so basically we'll have to go ahead and delete these rows because we don't want blank values in our data set for this right so let's go ahead let's select all the rows and hit delete so now you can see that there are no blank values for sales there you go right um, now let's check for quantity so basically uh, quantity is again showing as text as you can see here it should be changed to number so shift control and down arrow right click format cells let's change from text to number and remove the decimal places 
there you go you can see quantity has been replaced uh, sorry the data type for quantity has been changed also we see there are some blank uh, numbers blanks for discount right let's go ahead and select that so basically blanks here are indicating that there was no discount so we can easily replace this by zero so what we can do is now we'll have to fill uh, these blank cells with zero so let's hit control shift and end and go to the end of this column and then control d to fill it with zeros the these are the uh, shortcuts which you can uh, use in excel and make your life much easier so now let's go ahead and see you don't have any blank values in discount and lastly let's check for profit there are no blank values in profit so we are good to go here now another important thing to check is for uh, is duplicate rows so for that let's go to data and here you get the option of remove duplicates let's click on this so basically we want to remove rows which have duplicate values or same values in all the columns if you want you can uncheck a few columns as per your requirements but we want to remove data which has same values in all our columns let's hit ok and you can see that six duplicate values were found and they were removed so let's go ahead and save our data set and this is how um, you uh, clean your data set these are a few examples and now you can go ahead and get started on your analysis for this clean data set so to recap the different activities involved in data cleaning are deduplication or removing duplicates so duplicate data will be frequently generated when different data sets are merged it is important to remove such records as they will affect mathematical calculations removing irrelevant observations so sometimes the collected data may contain data points not required for your problem analysis for example your data set may contain data points for countries worldwide but it might not be relevant when you are analyzing for only one particular country so you can remove or filter out this data value correction so the data may have incorrect values for example the credit score is recorded as 900 but as per the actual normal range it should be between 300 to 850 or incorrect totals of different purchases by the same customer or an employee's salary greater than the taxes paid or the loan amount less than the installments and so on such values need to be analyzed with the domain expert or the business team on how to handle them you can either drop them flag them or replace them with appropriate values handle missing values as missing values are unavoidable we need to be clear on how to handle those you can either drop a missing value so if a missing value occurs randomly and rarely for a column we can consider dropping them but you need to be very careful not to lose important information by dropping those rows also the total number of rows that are dropped should be very less or you can impute so here we calculate the missing value based on other observations like statistical values of mean and median or using linear regression or hot deck coding in which we copy values from other similar records or you can check with the business on how to replace these values correctly we lose information whenever we, whenever we drop missing values so it is best to double check handle outliers so outliers are basically anomalies in the data set extremely small or big values away from the expected range of values if we find that a few people's reported annual income values are tens of millions 
we know they are incorrect. So outliers mislead the training process of the machine learning model and affect the accuracy. But definitely more investigation should be done before removing them as they may sometimes actually be valid. Fix structural errors. Now sometimes categories are not labeled consistently like female, FEM and F. But ideally they mean the same, right? And this should be fixed to one particular format. Um, or removing extra white spaces, padding to make the length consistent, or number of digits after the decimals. All of this comes under fixing the structural errors. Data type conversion. Make sure that numbers are stored as numerical data types, dates as date objects, and so on. If not, data type changes would be needed. So these are a few activities involved in data cleaning. There might be other activities involved as well, and it depends on what data set you are handling. I'm sure you must have got a broad idea of how data cleaning is done and what are the different activities involved. Let us know your questions in the comments and we will take them up in the next episode. Stay tuned for more interesting videos in this learning series. And thanks for joining us. Good luck.